good y'all it's leah welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna show you and guide you through my glute focused workout i've been going to the gym for about five to six months consistently and i have received a lot of questions and comments about what i do and what my workout splits are so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys and guide you through this workout however just keep in mind that i am still fairly new to this if you have any comments or positive criticism feel free to leave it down below in the comment section but without further ado let's get started Before starting my workout, I like to get a couple sets in of glute activations. This serves as a great warm up for the glutes and will definitely help the small compound movements before lifting. As for the legs, I usually aim to help aid the glutes in contracting it at a 90 degree angle as opposed to a 45 degree angle because it will help target the gluteus medius which is the top half of your glutes. After the kickbacks, I went straight into kickback pulses, and for this activation, I do 5 pulses at the top, which will be considered as one full rep as soon as I bring my legs back into the resting position. And once again, the resistance band is optional. The third glute activation might look a little weird, but it's definitely a burner. I alternated between fire hydrant pulses and regular fire hydrants, which will count as a full rep. These will help target the side of the glutes, which is also known as the gluteus minimus. And whenever I'm performing a rep, I always want to explode whenever I'm going up. So as you can see here, one second boom I exploded and then as soon as I bring it back down the range of motion is way much slower the fourth activation is banded straight legs kickbacks for this exercise your stance should be no wider than shoulder width apart and when performing this movement, your legs should be aiming at a 45 degree angle. Your grounded foot shouldn't be locked in. As you can see here, there's like a slight bend to it, which is totally okay. To start off the workout, I'm doing 4 sets of 12 to 15 reps on the glute kickback machine. An alternative for this exercise could also work with cable kickbacks as well if your gym doesn't provide this machine. I did start off with a manageable weight and then worked my way up um, during each set. And also one very important factor to keep in mind is to ensure that your back is obviously always neutral and your core is always engaged. Next workout is hip abductions for 4 sets of 12 to 15 reps with an increasing weight per set. 
For these, I discovered that it targets the glutes more if you're in this squat-like position. You'll start to feel the muscle tension around the outer top part of the glutes. For the third exercise, it is the infamous hip thrusts. These are by far my favorite when it comes to focusing on the glutes. I started off with a light weight of 185 pounds and increased during each set. One important thing to keep in mind is to ensure your shoulder blades are above the platform that you're resting on. Also, your legs should never be wider or more narrow than a 90 degree angle when you're in the range of motion. Another important factor to keep in mind is to drive with your glutes to the top and not with your back. As shown here as well, my neck and chin are tucked in one position looking forward and somewhat stabilized. fourth workout I did elevated RDLs with a 50 pound barbell. Focusing on your form is most definitely the most important part of this exercise. You'll want to keep the barbell as close to your body as possible and when you're in the range of motion make sure that there's a slight bend in the legs to target your glutes instead of targeting your hamstrings. For the next exercise, I did Bulgarian split squats. One thing you'll want to ensure is having a platform that is below your calves. Another important thing to keep in mind is to make sure that your knees do not pass your toes and to maintain a slightly angled back at a 45 degree angle instead of keeping it straight up to prevent it from targeting the quads. For the fifth exercise, I did elevated sumo squat pulses. I'm using a 50 pound dumbbell along with a resistance band. Your stance for this exercise should be wider than shoulder width apart and your toes should be angled outwards at a 45 degree angle. Make sure to maintain a neutral back and your core should always be engaged. For the last exercise, I did back extensions with a slightly curved back and a 35 pound plate. The curved back will help target the top part of the glutes in driving it up while you're in the range of motion. Holding the plate away from your body is best suited for this exercise because it will cause more tension in contracting the glutes.
I totally forgot to make an outro for this video, but if you've made it this far, I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you like working out with me, and I hope you try this out. I will definitely be making more workout videos, so if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching this in the morning or at night, I hope you have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.